Okay, so the first thing that I've realized is my grip. The V is pointing to my right shoulder. This bottom finger is curled underneath. This one hooks underneath here. And then the right hand does not come too much over the top. It sits more in this position. And then I've got my trigger finger to help me hit the shot. The important things that I've realized is the coil, the feeling of the coil, winding up the coil is the most important thing. So when I'm starting, my weight is more focused on my right foot so that when I take the club back, I'm winding up and creating that coil effect to, to come through and, and release. The other thing quickly to note to remember is that this thumb is in a nice flat position. It's not too much forwards or backwards. It's right flat. That helps me with the bow, with getting that club back into this position. When I'm bowing the wrist, the weight is, is here on my thumb. It's nice and, nice and centered. It's not too forward or back so that I lose control of the club. Another really important thing is that I stay tall. If I get too low, I hit the ground first and I don't connect well with the ball. So if I stay up nice and tall, that helps me with my backswing and the coil. Most important thing that I figured out today was that sensation of the coil. If I get the sensation of the coil, that creates the synchronization that David Ledbetter talks about. And I feel like everything is together. If I don't get that coil effect, everything just unwinds out of control and I, I lose control of, of the, the ball and I don't hit the club face. And it all starts on that right leg, winding up into that right leg. Nice and tall, over the ball, weight on the right foot, wind up and release. Two straight ones, a little bit of a draw too, when I get that coil effect, I create the draw. too much over, trigger finger nice and strong, weight on the right foot, focus on the right foot, nice and tall, with the coil effect, wind up and release. Didn't quite strike it as well, but it still went straight. That's the thing, if I get the bowing of the wrist and the coil and everything right, that's, even if I don't hit the ball 100% well, 